Schaden. Yo, what is up? Uh, this is the T-56 Czechoslovakian heavy tank, a premium heavy tank that uh, War Gaming uh, just a couple of hours ago started streaming it on their uh, Europe Twitch account. And we have uh, Kihan here from Fame, which is also a War Gaming employee, uh, testing out this tank and uh, giving a little bit of a teaser for the upcoming 1.14 patch where the Czechoslovakian heavy tanks are going to debut and of course uh, there's going to be a Czechoslovakian heavy premium tank on offer as well um, these are a little bit of the stats that I'm going to share with you uh, what we currently know I'm, I'm covering his face out here so that it doesn't distract you uh, from the gameplay uh, just to not to be rude or get him out of the way or anything like that but uh, just to make sure that you'll be able to uh, focus your attention on the tank what are we looking at here is a tier 8 heavy tank he is of course um, if you didn't see earlier he was running uh, vertical stabilizers uh, he was running um, turbo and he was running hardener um, that is what a lot of people are doing right now with heavy tanks and the reason why he's running the hardener is because this tank is kind of slow uh, it has the 35 kilometers an hour top speed um, and uh, that's not really great for any kind of uh, you know aggressive aggressive gameplay uh, I can tell you one of the, uh, if you're looking at the um, uh, the um, armament or the shell distribution, you can see him playing with only premium shells, and that's a good reason for that. Standard shells are AP shells, premium shells are also AP shells, but the problem is the penetration of the standard shells is 208 millimeters of penetration. That is kind of very bad for a heavy tank. Uh, the premium shells are also AP, but you got 248 penetration. So this is one of the lowest penetrating standard shells, which means you're going to fire a lot of premium shells, which I suppose this is what they want you to do a lot of, uh, so that you can burn your credits or whatever. And uh, of course, this tank is a two-shot auto-loading magazine. Um, of course, this is not the first auto loader in this game. Uh, there are a lot of auto loaders in this game. Uh, the premium auto loaders include Bizantes, uh, Emil, uh, Emil 1959, uh, the IS 3A, Somua SM Progetto. Um, so there's a lot of auto loaders, but this is only a two shot auto loader, much like a Burask. Um, uh, two shot means, well, why don't I play a three shot or a four shot or a five shot auto loader or a six shot auto loader like the 5100? Well, the difference is the damage output. Like, for example, the 5100 has a damage output of 300 per shell and it has six shells, 1800 damage per clip. Uh, that is pretty amazing for a 5100 uh, tech tree kind of tank, right? But the Skoda T56, uh, what is special about it is the 460 alpha damage per shot. It is one of the highest output um, per shot tanks out there. 460 per shot, um, 920 when you land both. Uh, it has a um, three and a half second uh, intra clip uh, not as long as a, a char future for four seconds right three and a half seconds you still gotta wait a little bit uh, before you can fire your second shot but 460 alpha is a huge punch you are talking about tier 9 levels of damage uh, this tank uh, if played well is pretty good uh, you can see our friend here doing pretty well in this kind of position and why is he doing well in this position no, uh, you have to bear in mind he's got friends around him if he was alone he would have been rushed and he would have been finished off very quickly but he is he's put himself in a position uh, where he's got friends around him he's got uh, clan mates teammates uh, supporting him uh, giving him some some time to fire his two shots and then 
uh, duck back into cover and reload for another uh, 24 seconds. This does have a 24 second reload time. It's not too bad considering 490 alpha, 920 per clip um, every 24 seconds. Um, if you play a 50 100 it takes about 48 seconds uh, to reload a 5100 35 seconds to reload a Somua SM uh, Emil 100 is pretty quick reload time but that's um, also that's 26 seconds for three shells in an Emil uh, 100 uh, so uh, the Skoda T56 there is a place for this tank it does play uh, slightly differently from your normal tanks but it's got what is it got going for it is that 460 alpha damage which is really really good for this tank now this tank um, if you pay attention to all the stats you can see the dispersion of the gun is 0 0.40 uh, really uh, typical heavy tank kind of uh, uh, dispersion uh, in fact, the dispersion is exactly like a Bizonte C45 and Bizonte C45s are not known for their accuracy. Um, 0 0.40 means it is kind of terrible aim. Now, uh, our friend here is running the Hardener that gives him a 10% um, HP boost, which is like a 160 extra alpha uh, extra HP for his tank uh, because I think the stock HP for the tank is 1,500 or 1,600, 1,500 HP. So with the with the hardener, he's got another 150. It gives him 1,650 hit points. Now, if I was playing this tank, I would probably not run it with a hardener, even though the hardener gives you a 10% or maybe a slightly more than that if you put it in the correct uh, the hardener. If you put it in the in the first slot, you will get an extra bonus instead of 10%. I think you get maybe 15% or 11% or whatever um, but if I'm playing this tank I think I would probably run it with a vertical stabilizer I would probably run it with a turbo to get that mobility up a little bit and I would probably run it with an improved aim now with an improved aim uh, BIA crew and running food I could probably uh, get my dispersion down to some kind of um, a value that is around 0 0.35 uh, if I'm running a born in, improved aim I could get my aim down to 0 0.34 which would make the accuracy pretty good so that is what I would do I wouldn't run a hardener instead I will try to run uh, with a turbo uh, because the speed on this tank is really slow 35 kilometers an hour going forward it is the slowest auto loading heavy tank um, you know 50 100s does 50 kilometers an hour going forward uh, Emil also does 50 uh, the only other slow tank in here is IS-3A and that has 40 kilometers an hour so I would definitely run turbo Nine. just to get the speed up to 39 kilometers an hour going forward he is dead here before the game has ended but he's already racked up over 5,000 damage now over the course of two hours watching uh, key hand play here uh, I think I saw him go get about three mastery badges um, around the four or five thousand damage mark uh, He's a pretty good player to begin with. Uh, he knows exactly what he's doing. And in the hands of a regular player, I believe you will still do pretty well because uh, this tank does have that 490 alpha damage. Again, I can't stress enough, the 490 alpha is what's going to make this tank work pretty well. Now, is it going to be worth it? Because it's coming out in 1.14 together with the new uh, things that they're adding into the game like field modifications and crew 2.0. I don't know. That's up to the players to decide. Uh, some people are going to wait before they uh, decide whether they're going to buy this tank or not. Uh, but a lot of people don't care. They're just going to get it anyway because this is the new thing. This is going to be the flavor of the week. So what do you think? Let me know. Uh, and I will catch you on the next video, which is uh, probably an update on this tank as well. So, see ya.